Most people seemed uh, pretty happy to see us. Lieutenant A.J. Hammock is talking about his Coast Guard helicopter crew rescuing people and pets in the areas of southwest Florida, devastated by Hurricane Ian. The devastation's pretty extensive. Uh, we've seen condos with the roofs rifted off. We've seen entire marinas where the boats have been, boats and docks have been just transplanted over to the mangroves. Uh, condos have been completely blown out with the drywall ripped off the walls. Uh, Devastation is pretty extensive. Down on the ground, New Englanders are helping out as well, including Michaela Ryan from East Falmouth, who is part of a group in Punta Gorda, helping power crews get fed while getting neighborhoods back online. People in here made a Facebook group. Um, they're trying to donate what food they can. Um, they're cooking food for people, linemen, all of that kind of stuff, um, and volunteering their time as much as they physically can. People are up till midnight volunteering their time. Task Force One for Massachusetts is also on the ground in Florida. After driving straight through this week, a group of 45 people, including doctors, first responders, and structural engineers sent by FEMA to help out. Wide area search, looking through um, destroyed buildings, uh, debris piles, um, waterways, um, looking for either targeted search for people that are known missing or just clearing buildings for a general of people that may or may not be missing. It's going to take a lot of people coming together and helping out where they can and even people not from Florida um, helping out like with what they can do from other areas as well and just trying to be supportive of what's going on down here with people who have lost almost everything. And this coming week, President Biden is expected to visit Southwest Florida.